When you were younger, how did you imagine romance, sex, and love when you became older? I imagined to be like Cinderella. Like, this prince comes and rescues me. She meets with the Prince Charming, and they love each other. I always thought that uh, there was that movie fantasy romance about how you're supposed to have this one moment where everything falls into place. Now it's you have casual sex, you don't need to have anything attached to it. Our whole generation is getting corrupted by sex. Cinderella's long gone now. What's love? Got to do, got to do it. Yeah. that sex wasn't going to be something as it is today, something as just, like you said, lenient, something that is basically nothing to somebody. You know, if you go out with a bunch of girls and they're just, I have friends that are, you know, in eighth grade already did it, you know, and I don't think that, it, I didn't think when I was younger it was going to be like that at all. What's the whole idea of sex today? Like, like do, is sex well, like, no one waits to anymore. Go. No one waits anymore. It's like the guy will be like, all right, we've been going out three months and I bought you a diamond. You better have sex with me, please. Yeah. So wait, is that true, Jack? No one that waits anymore? That is true. What happened? No one that waits. That is true. No, no one, one waits, waits anymore. anymore. Mostly everybody just wants like to get with somebody, but like especially boys, all they want is sex. Well, usually a guy, when they don't want to be committed, likes to hook up with a girl and, you know, have favors from them. They don't like to have commitments, so they'll go play friends with benefits for a long time. Usually it means that either the boy or the girl don't really want to have anything to do with anybody. If you thought some girl was hot and she felt the same way about you, and you want to just do it for fun. Friends with benefits, it's like you don't have any feelings for the person. Like, they're just friends and you get stuff out of it. Hooking up, like, you have feelings for them and you like them, but you just don't want to be tied down. Now, um... Do you have any friends with benefits, or do you just hook up once in a while? I just hook up with different people. When a girl says that, oh yeah, when she agrees to have casual sex with a guy, secretly, maybe 75% of the time, secretly, girls feel something for that guy that asked them. So even though she can't tell them, she feels like a way to have casual sex is to show it. I'm not into relationships, so I prefer having sex. Alright, do you ever feel guilty? No, I don't feel guilty. No. What do you feel? After I'm done with it, I feel good. And I just leave. And I'll call a girl whenever I want something. Talk to me about sex. All right, tell me now, what goes on in Staten Island? Why is there so much sex going on in Staten Island? Like, like everyone's just having sex like animals, why? Because <laughs> there's uh, nothing there's else to do. do. Why, explain, expand on that. Well, Staten Island's really boring, and there's not much to do, so we just go out and go to parties and end up having get sex with people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and plus when you're like drunk and when you smoke and all that, like yeah, you want to have like, sex more. It makes you want to have sex. Yeah. There's not enough to do. Kids smoke, drink, and have sex. That's all there is to do, really. I agree 100% that there's nothing to do, and this is why we hook up and we have sex and we do all these bad things. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not good. Like, us kids shouldn't even know what sex is. Nobody cares anymore. So you, you and think. The parents don't care either. And the parents these days are just as bad as the kids. Can you explain uh, your parents' relationship? Well, my parents are divorced now. They got divorced. <laughs> parents are divorced. My oh. parents are divorced. They got divorced when I was four. Does that influence or affect the way you see relationships? It affects me to boys. I can't really trust them that much that much anymore. But I've seen my mother with my stepfather, and I've seen my father with my stepmother, and I can just honestly say that 
they don't have good marriages, but you can see why they don't have good marriages. They're not with the right people. They're not in an understanding commitment with another person. It's always a one-sided fight. It does leave an effect on me that, you know, I have to be more careful with myself and, you know, just watch who I'm going to be with or what I'm doing with myself because it will affect my future. Now, like, it's not really about love anymore. Now it's all about sex. I think people do that so they feel, oh, I'm mature, I did this. But really, when you do that, it should be between you and some other person because you like them, you have feelings for them. It shouldn't just be a thing that you go at, oh, I met him, he's sexy, I'll do this with him. From the day you're born to, you know, however old you are, you leave a reputation for yourself. And I was told that, you know, like, reputations, once you gain that, like, once somebody knows that you had sex and it goes around and you're only 13, that's not going to leave you. I don't want to go around <clears throat> having sex with somebody and I don't even love them. Like, I don't know how long the relationship will last. I don't know how long they're going to have feelings for me. When I have sex, I want it to have special. I want it to have meaning behind it. So, you know, you want to make sure that you give it to the right person. I think romance exists. I don't think kids understand it. Why don't you think they understand it? Parent situations, peer pressure, it, it's just different. People aren't, it's no time for it. Kids think it's gay to have romance, like, you know, when you're 16, 15, 14, like. Because you could have sex and then just not worry about it yeah, the next day or whatever. But if you have romance with somebody and you love somebody, you're going to be hurt and you're going to think about it all the time. And sex is just, all right, it's done. That's it. Relationships right now is not romance. We're so young, we don't know what romance is. Even now, I couldn't even tell you what romance is. Who knows, it could be the Cinderella story. <laughs> right now, I mean, I experience relationships, and as far as I can tell you, it's no Cinderella. Right now, ready? You should. Oh, girl, just wanna have fun. Uh.